Hello, Dawn Butler here. I'm going to take you through today how to build cake onto your structure, as I know many of you have been asking. Well, I've got a 10 inch round baseboard here and I've already used my blanking caps for the holes that I don't need. I'm going to screw in the long foundation. So simply place that through and lock nut it tight, like so. Give it a twist. Okay, so that's in there tight. Now, a lot of the carved novelty structures would require these pieces to be in place already. And I know that a few of you have been asking, well, how on earth do I do that? You would need to slot your cake around it, and there's two different ways of doing it. If I just take some cake that I've got here, I'm just going to really quickly split that into three layers, okay? I could push this cake now on top. The problem that you have with that, particularly the larger that that gets, is that you could force all of that to split. But if I actually place a platform underneath, right in the centre, I now know that I've got a guide for that to go through. Place my hand on top and that stops everything from splitting. Take off the waste cake, I've now made my hole. It now allows me to slot that in place over the top. I can then layer as I go, so I can fill that with buttercream and the next layer, the next layer, the next layer. Now sometimes you may have it where you've got more than one foundation piece in place. You've got to try and slot it round it or you've actually used an angle which goes off in one direction that's very difficult for getting a nice neat hole and that is where the brick layer method comes in so what i would do with that is split my cake in half and cut a small v in the center of that cut edge now this has already got a hole in it so that was easy for me to sort out and then i would layer that cake either side. Now my cut is now going vertical to me. The next time I cut my cake layer, cut it down in the centre, I make a very small V. What that does is allow that to go round the hole and again. And I'm going to lay it with my cut horizontal so it makes a brick effect. It means that you've added strength to your structure because the lines and the gaps aren't all in the same place allowing your cake to peel apart. I would fill that with my buttercream and lay one layer and then the second layer and then build accordingly. So that's the brick layer effect. Now, sometimes when you're doing a wedding cake, for instance, you may say to yourself, well, actually, I'd like to decorate that off the cake. So what I'm doing is just slotting a collar in place. I, let's say for instance that we're using our four inch round plate. I need my middle hole so I'm blanking off the ones that I don't need. Now let's see in advance how that will look on the cake. So that's going to slot down here. Now bearing in mind I've chosen a long rod. If I bring you over my cake that's taller than. This is great if your cake continues and you're building spaces into your cake, but don't forget to measure the rods that you're using before you place that inside. If that's the top tier of your wedding cake, for instance, you're not gonna want that poking out the top. So again, it's really important to measure. But the beauty of cake frame is that joints come and, and rods come in different sizes, allowing us to perfectly match the height that we need. Now, let's say, for instance, that I want to build this off the cake. Slot that to one side. Make sure that you've got your spacers in place, that everything's blanked off, and you can now decorate your cake accordingly. Now, it looks like one of my kids has decorated that one because it's nice and flat. But you'd make sure that yours was. So our cake has been cut and it's been jam and creamed, and we can even cover that two. We now need to place it onto our rod. How are we going to do that? Well if I take this cake to the very edge of my table, making sure that I'm holding that, I'm going to find with my finger the centre hole 
that we're missing and I'll show you what I'm doing. I wouldn't ordinarily ask you to tilt your cake up so that you can see. And I've now got a barbecue skewer going directly through the center. I now know where the center hole is in order to connect those two together. And if I now place my rod directly over that skewer and I can push down through into the hole, take away the skewer, take away the excess of cake, that is now ready to slot straight on top. i take that off for you. And that now securely fits on there. And that's how you decorate a cake off your structure. And the brick layer or the centre hole layer was how you decorated a cake and built your cake up when it was on the structure. There's loads more tutorials for you to have a look at, but this one is the basics of how to build a cake onto cake frame.